Hey, it's Lynn Brown. Welcome to the Gritty Women Global Podcast. We're so glad you joined us today. I'm a results coach, and our mission is wellness and mindset. Because you really can't have one without the other. And prior to my journey into personal growth, honestly, I was a world-class people pleaser. I mean, I was literally trapped by the opinions of others. It was more like living in a mental prison. And then one day I just got sick and tired of being sick and tired. Can anybody relate? Well, I drew a line in the sand that day. Actually, I slammed my office door and I looked up to the heavens. Ha ha. I mean, like, like God was peeping through the stained ceiling tiles that I was staring at. But gritty sisters, let me, let me just tell you something. Everything began to change that day. And I noticed I didn't say everything was perfect. But there was a change. There was a pivot. And I began to change the way I looked at things. And when I did, the things that I was looking at began to change. But today, I'm just going to be totally transparent, honest with you. The podcast that I had ready to roll out for you today, it's just going to have to wait. Because today, I've just got to share with you how my morning started. As many of you know, if you've been following the Gritty Women podcast, you know that I start my day with writing daily gratitude, not just thinking about daily gratitude and saying, oh, I'm so happy I have a warm house or whatever, but actually writing it every day. And there's a big difference. So normally, my morning routine is, here's a rule, no phone until after I do my gratitude time and my quiet time. But today... That my messenger pinged. And for some reason, I opened it. Lynn, I'm so thankful for the prayers of your family during this difficult time. The flowers that you sent, that y'all sent, are beautiful. Y'all, I just sat motionless. <laughs> An amazing, gritty woman. A fearless woman, a hope filled champion from her hospital room sends me a message. And I just, I mean, I was choked up then. And every time I think about it, my brain and my mind and my heart, I get choked up. But my friend Sonia messaged from her hospital room today where she's fighting her way through another round of pneumonia. This is not her first rodeo either. She recently returned home from the hospital. She has been in a battle for a couple of years in, her, in the area of health. But we know that Sonia is going to get to the other side. She is always grateful. She finds the good. She harvests the good. She is a world-class encourager. She knows her battle belongs to the Lord. And to think that I was just whining, y'all, I hate to admit this, but I was just whining because I could not get my Zoom to upload a video. I mean, seriously. Today, Sonia is battling through this illness that has been ongoing. She has inspired me so many times. Sonia has encouraged me day after day. She is a tiny but fierce gritty sister and she shines bright every day but today is different today is a day that only the ones who have walked through understand the level of pain we shudder to even think about this we we have no words I have no words for days like this I have no idea and I cannot imagine the feeling so we stumble over our words and, and we pray and we send flowers and 10 layer chocolate cakes and we, we stand with the family and we show our respect. We go to the cemeteries, but we don't know. Sonia's grandson went to be with Jesus one week ago. It was unexpected, natural causes. What a story his life told. What a life he lived. Jesus reached down and and rescued him and touched him. And he shared his testimony under the lights on his football field last November. He gave God the glory. 
What an encouragement. What an inspiration. What a warrior. The true meaning of a warrior. Living a life without fear. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Just like Sonia. Battling through things no senior in high school should have had to deal with. Yet through it all, his life illuminated the places his feet walked. He was grateful. And today, the light of his life shines brighter than ever. I, have, I really have no words. But his grandmama, Sonia, said it best. God is carrying us through this. Dakota is resting with Jesus now. Y'all, I've got nothing else. (laughs) I have nothing else except to say, Gritty Sisters, live fearless, live full of faith, and remember the battle belongs to the Lord. Dakota, thank you for inspiring me and encouraging me through your courageous life. And not only will this inspire me, but from people that will hear your story and that your legacy will touch for years to come all around the world. Oh, and I was going to tell you this too. The last thing Sonia said was, I'm, rem- I'm remembering to pray p- to pray for your sweet mama, Miss Jenny. Until w- next week, guys. God bless you all. I love you. And let your light shine bright.